Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function f. Number of arbitrary function equal to 1, that is the function f. So, we are going to use only the first order derivative, that is dou z by dou x, which is named as p and dou z by dou y, which is named as q to eliminate the arbitrary function. Let us take this as the first expression. We are going to differentiate this. So, differentiating 1 partially with respect to x. So, this will become L plus m y is constant, so it is 0, then n into dou z by dou x and on the other side f derivative is f dash and all the inner terms should be written as it is. Then as per the chain rule we are going to differentiate these terms that gives the first term derivative is 2x, second term is 0 and third term is 2z into dou z by dou x. Now rearranging this this is L plus N into P and F dash of X square plus Y square plus Z square as it is and 2 can be taken out common. So, remaining is X plus Z into P. Let us keep this as a second expression. In the same way, we are going to differentiate the first expression partially with respect to y. So, this Lx is constant, so it is 0, then m is a constant written as it is and y derivative is 1, then n is written as it is, z derivative is dou z by dou y equal to f derivative is f dash, f dash of x square plus y square plus z square into and we have to follow the chain rule. So, we have to write the derivative of this. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, x square is constant which is 0, then y square derivative is 2y, then z square is 2z into dou z by dou y. Now, rewriting this, it is m plus n q equal to f dash of x square plus y square plus z square, 2 is taken common, y plus z into q. Let us keep this as a third expression. We are going to divide the second expression by third expression. From the left hand side, we get L plus n p divided by m plus n q. And when we divide this f dash of both the terms gets cancelled, even 2 gets cancelled. So, the remaining is x plus z p whole divided by y plus z q. Now, we have to cross multiply and rearrange in such a way that capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to r. In this form, we have to give the final answer. So, we are going to multiply this into this. So, we get L plus N P into Y plus Z Q equal to M plus N Q into X plus Z P. Now, let us multiply this L Y plus L Z Q plus N P Y plus N P Z Q equal to another side it is M X plus M Z P plus N Q X plus N Q Z P. So, on both the sides N P Z Q this also N P Z Q you can cancel. Now, grouping into the required form 
So here let's write the p term that is m p y and if I bring this to the other side it will become minus m is at p plus q term this I have to write l is at q then this q term minus m q x which is equal to m x and this l y let's take to the other side minus l y. Now taking p common n y minus m z into p plus taking q common l z minus n x into q equal to m x minus l y. So this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary function.